uh, Lotus White. How to pronounce your name as uh, Sorry? Uh, Tui. Tui? Tui? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's a bit, it's, uh, it's difficult for you. You can just call me Lotus. Lotus, okay. <laughs> uh, your, your son is pretty good, really good. I marked uh, the writing part. You, can, you guys can go always go back to the uh, Google Drive to check the, uh, the score, okay? Uh, but the pronunciation part, as long as you, your name, your number is on the signal, I, I can send you feedback. Later on, I may ask um, uh, Elizabeth to help me uh, review your assignment, because more and more. But I also, the other thing, um, if uh, in your area or your, uh, the non-Chinese speaking, let's t put it that way, non-Chinese speaking practitioners, if they want to learn Chinese, feel free to share with them and they can get in. Uh, that's actually my original thinking. Me and my wife Elizabeth thinking we want to help a Western practitioners, whoever want to learn Chinese. Uh, maybe at the beginning they they got kind of uh, uh, frightened. Say, okay, uh, thirty minutes every week. Actually, it's more than that because we have uh, lecturing thirty minutes, but then you you have you can you can you have to spend another half an hour or hour. Uh, let me get an idea from you. When you do all this so far, the the assignments. How much time you need in regular half an hour or, or one hour or 15 minutes, 45 minutes roughly to finish this one? 10, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So uh, that means I can give you a little bit more work. <laughs> Sorry. Not for okay. us. We spend a couple hours. A couple of hours? <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Mm, okay. Then, all right. Uh, in that way, how, who? Who who else also spend hours, like more than one hour? Oh, who else? Raise your hand. I I spend. Okay. Definitely over half an hour. Over half an hour. Okay, and then I just uh, stay with this one. Yeah. Uh, the current thing. Uh, what about you, little Jackson? Uh, how much time you spend? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think it just a couple of minutes, right? Maybe 15, 10 minutes. We try to do it every day and spend time every day writing and speaking while we're out, like you suggested, while we're shopping or driving around and we're practicing. Great, great. Thank you so much. That's that's good because after you pass in this period, that will be easier. You get it, make it a habit. Then you, when you get the, the train your, your brain thinking in in writing this kind of way, that that that's different from uh, English uh, letters. But whenever you establish this thing, it's, it's going to become very easy. Uh, but take some time, okay? All right. Uh, great. Uh, let's start. Let, last time when we were here, I think, this is the last uh, assignment. Um, uh, give yourself a little bit of patience, okay? Be patient. Be patient to yourself. Be compassionate to yourself a bit. Don't rush. Uh, no, no rush. Okay, uh, you just try to remember how to write and pronounce correctly. One to ten. As long as randomly you think, what is six? Liu, and you pronounce it the fourth tone. Liu, what is jiu? Uh, nine? Jiu, uh, and then what is shi? Shi ten shi. Whenever you, you just randomly pick up, challenge yourself. And then when you are very familiar with one to ten. Then at the same time, then you practice one to ninety-nine. So what is a a eighty-eight a a a ten a and ba shi ba? Then after a while, then you will, will get it, get to it. Remember, we said uh, in the first three months, we're gonna get you thirty-six characters. Okay, but if you do this, you literally get a uh, ninety-nine characters. But actually, it's just ten, right? That's actually the principle. We're going to show you the same principle from different direction or different level of this kind of uh, uh, multiply. So that's how, uh, if we go along the way, I can ensure you get an, um, at least 2,000 at the end of two years. And you can read everything in Chinese. Almost, literally. Okay, the daily, daily, daily things. Not very old classical, uh, classics. Very old classics. Yeah. Even I, I, I studied Chinese for over 50 years. I still need to use the dictionary. Uh, but that's a different thing. There's a different kind of way to do it. But for yeah. daily writing, regular reading, 
um, 2,000 to 2,500 uh, is more than enough. It's, it's, it should be good. It's, it's efficient enough. Okay. So, but give yourself a little patience. Okay. Be compassionate to yourself. Okay. Now, um, we, last time we talked about the one has the meaning. Yi has the meaning of a yang. It's a positive part. And also meaning have a dao. That this is yang. This is yin. Positive, negative. Neg in this way, when I'm, ta when, when I'm talking about the positive and negative, it doesn't mean really positive and negative. It's just like charge, like electric charge. One side, yang side, yin side, that's all. Be they have all have the good part, like boy, girl, up, down, left, left and right. They are just uh, exist in comparison. There's no absolutely, absolutely which one is good or which one's bad. No, which one's better or which one is worse. No, depends. Both good. If you go to extreme, both bad. Agree? Right? Okay. So, uh, in the second, uh, second uh, lecture, I think we should share with you this Tao. Number one, Yi also meaning Yang, positive side, or Tao, um, the, the Tao, the way, the principle. We'll show you this one, remember? Boy, a, a man, female, uh, boy and girls, strong, hard, soft, tender, is it exists, coexist in comparison. It's a relationship. So you want to get a balance, that's a good one. Uh, if you go to any extreme, that's no good. So we, uh, that this kind of way of thinking, this kind of principle is, is very basic, it's very fundamental in the way of Chinese thinking and Chinese culture and culture and the Chinese character too. Okay, they are the same thing, but just different level. Manifest in different level. Okay. This is the E. This is actually um, pictogram wise, picture wise. It's just 90 degree vertical, uh, horizontal vertical uh, has the same meaning. They have the same meaning as Tao. Only difference is this Tao is horizontal. It's the principle on the same level, go immense, go to boundless. But this pronounced as Guan, third tomb, is the Tao from the top to bottom. So that's how number 10, Shi, you have Shi also symbolized on the hor any horizontal level of principle. If you stay on this level, you go by it, you have to follow the rule. But uh, if you step Far away from it, there is a vertical thing. So you want to go. So that's how in Buddha school said ten directions, ten dimensions, ten direction. Every level, the every level, then all the direction. So that use ten to describe the whole holiness, the entity, the whole thing. Is it? Is that okay? Right? That's okay. If you have questions, just uh, feel free to to say. So this is a Tao. This is just a Tao, just vertical Tao. This is a horizontal Tao. Let me just put it this way. But uh, Lao Zi, L A O Z I, Lao Zi, uh, use this word, this character, to describe all the principles. All the principles. He said, that's how he said, uh, if the Tao can be explained uh, very vivid, it is not a Tao because it's embraced everything, it's including everything. Okay, just give you an idea. You don't need to remember the pronunciation. You, can, you just need to remember every stroke, every stroke in Chinese character, character could be considered as Tao. So, but there's only two Tao. It's good one, not just good one. It's a right. This one or this one. So you, you have this. Um, oh, I use this one. This is a Tao, but it's go, there, go to the left. This is a Tao, go to the right. But when you have a balance, this is number eight. This is number, you have to have the balance. Six, this is eight. So, da, so you're saying Tao is just that single stroke. And the meaning is single stroke. But when you, when you describe the, the principle, the way, the fundamental, the holiness of the universe, that's from Tao school. 
Lao Tzu used this this character to describe Tao. So so it's a sing so it's a single stroke, but then if it goes different directions, it has different names. Yeah, the, yeah, yes, yes, have the different and names, the but they all the symbolize, but the, their inner uh, meaning actually they symbolize different Tao. Like you have a row, you have a row go this way, and then you go to this way, and then you go to this way, and then you go this way, and then you go this way, and then you go this way. They're all different Tao. Which Tao, which row you want to choose? That's a, which Tao you want to choose. We want to stay in the center and the biggest Tao. That's how we're, we're doing now. Does that make sense? Okay. They have meaning of Tao, but uh, in the character wise, the, the writing wise, this this is the chosen one to describe. But I'm just uh, share with you the, the the behind the meaning of the strokes. And this Tao, make turn. I like a chill. Somebody you write in chill, right? You want to make this hook bigger, more like. Some of you like this. No. Eh? Make this one. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, let's move on. We're, we're talking about number two. The upper uh, stroke symbolizes sky or heaven or yang, yang part. The lower, lower stroke symbolizes land or earth or yin part. But the upper one is always shorter. In writing Chinese character, you see, all the bottom stroke, if it's horizontal, is always the longest one. If it is a, it's the bottom, the, the bottom horizontal stroke should be longest, right? Like this one, cover this part. You cannot write this like this. Then it's different. This is wrong. Yeah, just cover it, like this part, right? Like this part. If you go to horizontal, if it's in bottom, should be the longest one to cover it. This one is not a, a horizontal because it, it's, it's another small character here. Okay. Now, uh, three, you see, human is, is smallest one, so it's the shortest. But you want to make it is, uh, ha, uh, the earth longer, bigger, because we shared with you last time, right? This shape. Or this shape looks more stable compared with this two. So that's how. Because that when when the divine created the, the character, they're considerate. It's like human don't feel comfortable. So make it comfortable for them. Actually, it should be like this. It should be like this. But in the other way around, you feel better. <laughs> you feel stable. You feel safe. Okay, that's how. All right, that's the, the principle. Let's go. Oh, Cai, I showed you last time, right? That's highest talent or potential. It's like this is earth, this is a root of the, a plant or, or, or grass or a little tree. You've got a potential to grow up. That's how. And this thing, this stroke, symbolized thing underneath the earth, but it's going to be, it's a potential, it's going to grow up, become a tree like this. Or in ancient way, it's written like this. This part symbolizes the root. This part symbolizes branches. This is the main, the main body. So it always go up. Follow this style. If you don't follow this style, the, the tree wouldn't go, grow up. All right? It, it becomes a different thing. Okay. Uh, Pangu's story we shared last time. Eventually, uh, and, uh, you know, from the zero to one to two, separate. This is heaven. This is earth. This is the land. This is the sky. See, and eventually, separate, totally separate, become three. Uh, so many, 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 many years later, he need to sleep. He need to take a rest. So. Uh, according to the myth, um, his total bo his body, every part of his body transformed to different things of the universe. That's the original universe. His right eye transformed to the moon. Left eye transformed to the sun. His hair transformed to the grass and tree. All the hair here and here on the body. 
and his uh, five part. This part, his limb and two uh, leg, the head become the, the famous five big mountain in China. That, that's in Chinese myth. So barely is that a big mountains and his blood become rivers and oceans. Okay. Uh, he, he, he transformed his body to every part, the, the, everything in this universe. Uh, mountain, water, ocean, tree, and his bone, all the same transformed to um, maybe bone, uh, to, to rock, every part. It's called, the, in Chinese, it's called Hua Shen. Hua. You don't need to remember. Uh, I just uh, say once and once again. Then, when we get to that uh, character, you you will understand how to uh, how it should be like this. Hua transform. And the the in, most interesting thing to me when I uh, read this um, uh, myth, he has uh, all the microorganisms on, on his body too. Uh, microorganism. Those things, because the wind of the universe blow, all those wind woke up, transformed to be the first group of human being. So Nuiwa, maybe you heard of another myth. Nuiwa used uh, in Chinese myth used the uh, mud to 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 create a human being, just like um, in in Christian Christianity, um, uh, Joshua yeah, uh, used the mud to create a, a first group of human being, a white people. And the yellow people, uh, there is another myth, it's, it's uh, as a goddess, her name called Nu Wa. Uh, we, we, we'll get to that, just uh, listen to the, uh, the pronunciation, Nu Wa. Nu means lady or female, Nu Wa. Her name is Wa, but she's a female. She used mother to do it. But actually before her, when Pangu uh, created the universe, he, the microorganism in his body transformed to be the first group of human. So in the Chinese history, historical document, there is a, a different god or semi-god create different group of people. There's a lot of that kind of myth. I searched uh, the myth from the different uh, nations, like uh, uh, American Indian, like African, like Indonesia, or uh, in the South Pacific Ocean, or uh, European, even in Europe, uh, Norway, and uh, German, and uh, Greek, they have different. <clears throat> they have a different. Uh, their the myth, the legend from the uh, they created by their god or their goddess, but the process, the story is similar, just different form. That's how. Okay. So far, um, it makes sense, right? It's okay. Okay. Yes. Um, now one, two, three, four. How to transform at the very beginning? Uh, one is one stroke. Two is two stroke. Three is three stroke. Four is four stroke. Then the second, three is more already because heaven, earth, and human. This symbolize almost everything in the universe. So how to make it sim simple because you cannot, one to 10 is a 10 stroke. That's, <laughs> that's boring right? uh, in another word. So they say, okay, what is a better cra character can symbolize four, can symbolize four. If you if you standing if you are standing or sitting somewhere, you have a, on the earth you have four direction front, back, left or right, or you standing like on a map. If your back is north, then you have four direction north, south, east, west. So the the, the uh, number four si transformed to be like north, south. West, east, right? Just on, imagine you are you are reading the map, and there's something inside, in, included. Actually, there's another way to write. Uh, 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 so um, I just show you one. This two stroke inside is show you the included in this four direction. That's number four. This, you sit in there give you our imagination or a picture of um, space not 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 three dimensional yet two dimension 
it's like a, a square, like flat. This zero, this is one dimension, this is two dimension. Number four, get into two dimension already. That makes sense? Any question? So far so good, all right? Now how to, okay, then how to write number five. At the beginning, always create like five stroke. That's, that's Oracle. Oracle, it's in Shang Dynasty. It's like um, 3,500 to uh, 4,000 4, years ago. But it, okay, it's, um, then the think about the, the, remember the number created by the divines, the 1 to 10, then repeat it. 2, 10, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? It's 10 as a, uh, the basic unit. So then figure out, Number five is right in the middle. 一二三四五呃六七八九十 When you get it to 十 then 二十 you get it to、uh, another cycle, the same cycle. So that's number five. It's reverse. The meaning reverse. It's right here. Reverse. So this means reverse, turn upside down. So that's how in, in, in Chinese, in the middle,、uh, noon time, daytime, 12 o'clock, it's called a、uh, Wu here. Then the midnight is called a Wu Ye. Ye means night. Wu Ye. Wu, pronounce it. So you see that the pronunciation here is a, I make a turn.、Uh, ta, bottom, ta,、uh, make a reverse. Reverse. So that's name is transformed to be like this. And transform to like this, eventually to be like this. You see this here is still is kind of cross, but、uh, you make it more、uh, square, squarish, right, written. So that's number five. So and then you, you remember, oh, this is a,、uh, reverse in the middle of the of a number. Then at the heaven stroke here, earth here. In noon time, twelve, the sun go to the top and. And go other way around. At midnight, twelve. The it's the darkest time. Then starting to getting light, brighter, brighter, brighter. And, you know that's the reversing. Day and night reversing. There's two point twelve, or twelve in the night. Right. That's the meaning of come、uh, how it evolved. It makes sense. Okay. Then you when you're reading. You 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 notice then the five elements called the xing. The, the xing originally looks like it's a it's a road. It's a road. It's like a crossroad, right? It's a street here, street here, and then in four direction go. When it's you it's used as a verb, it's walking. Or extend a little bit, it's a behavior. So it symbolizes five kind of behavior of the matters, including human, in the universe. That's called a tree, fire, earth, metal, and water. We're going to explain that later. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Ah,、uh, uh, so I I'm used to I'm used to、uh, teach. Fifty fifty minutes <laughs> in the school, so that's how I, I got、uh, Elizabeth helped me to to manage the time. So and, and I have this one.、Uh, if I forget, she she can step in. So okay, this time. Any question for next five minutes? And because you guys some some of you need to go、uh, for your work or or for something.、Uh, everybody's busy, so we want to stick to the thirty minutes. And that if you have more time, you want to have more question. You have time, you want to stay. I can answer you here. That's no problem. Any question? Yeah, for 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 whoever want to go first, ask first. No question. So is this screen that we're on what our homework will be? I I actually、uh, planned to show you uh, different uh, characters, but、uh, and when explain this, when getting into it, I I I think I feel like I need to、uh, say more to help you understand. So far. You can't understand what I'm trying to say, right? But I'm going to arrange a little, a small assignment for you today, since it's a holiday, and I don't want to drag you guys in, into hard work. But you need do need to review 
we learned before to make them more fluent, get more familiar with it. All right. Yeah, Jin. Yes. So, so four. There's the four directions, but what do the lines on the inside symbolize? It symbolizes the, uh, the everything, including in that space. Okay. Like a su, uh, the very immediate su is direction, right? And also, there's another thing: is the four season. When you four season, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. I'm, I'm a little bit jumping here. Uh, no matter time wise or space wise, si symbolizes four direction, and also you want to you want to also express or share that what is inside is included. Like in in spring, what is in, in, in spring included? At least you oh flower, the grass starts to grow, trees start to grow. That's included. What is included in, in summer? Trees bigger, everywhere is green, everybody is happy, is in, in, uh, in so added to do everything, it, it, it's very active. What is uh, fall, autumn included? Things starting to shrink, F uh, leaves starting falling, that's the thing included in that part. Or direction is uh, like in, in your city, you, you live in a city, say New York, uptown, downtown, and New Jersey and that side. That's what is inside? Inside that is Manhattan. The, the, the content include, included, embraced in this four direction, in this square. That's how, that's how we have all. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, we have this square and you have things. This thing symbolizes the things inside. Is yeah. that why they have two different shapes, those lines inside? Yeah. Like one is curved and one is, did they look if different? You, uh, you can write it in this way. But people think, okay, that's not uh, actually can include this only uh, symbolize vertical direction. So that's how this direction and this direction. It's kind of a half cross. Go horizontal and vertical. So another, another way to say the thinking in embedded in Chinese character, you want to think yin side and yang side. That's one direction. Another way. You want to think horizontal and also vertical. You want to think, think how it comes and where they go. And also on this level, the whole the plane you want to you want to think as big as you can, including everything. Then you don't go to extreme. That's how the it's called a fang kuai. It's a, it's a squared uh, character. The fang kuai. So that's how the Chinese have written in square. So, oh, uh, when you write, when you, when you do your assignment, right, you, you know this uh, thing? It's uh, 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 this is called Tianzi, or this thing. Mizi. You want to write in, write in the middle, like this si. You want to write it in the middle. Not to the top, not to the bottom, not to the left, not to the right. I wonder, sometimes when I did a, a demonstration, it, uh, on the computer, on the on the screen, it's not that uh, it's not that easy. So I did a, not a really good job. But some uh, many of you did a really good job, right in the middle. <laughs> okay, and uh, you want to you want to stretch it. Uh, the strokes you want to stretch it. You you don't want to stay just right in the center. You want to stretch it like this. Uh, make it look bigger. You have space outside. You have space inside. That's also a, a, another way to go in the middle. Uh, Mr. He, uh, Maria has a question. Sure, Maria. Uh, so my question is that from how you describe, uh, Su is rather good uh, character. It means really a lot of good things. But uh, what I uh, was told that Chinese don't really like that number, that it, uh, it also sounds like death. So okay. <laughs> Uh, actually, this uh, uh, it's a different level. The pronunciation has meaning because uh, si, uh, dead or death in Chinese written like this, pronounced as si. Even even though tone is tone is different, but uh, the, the 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 pronunciation is similar. 
So that's a kind of superstitious for uh, a lower kind of understanding. No, it's, it's not really higher understanding. Because we also have a say that uh, you want to have lucky every four, every season of the four seasons called a Si Ji Fa Chai. You have to use four, you have to use Si. But some of the, uh, uh, if you are, you know what you're using, it's not absolutely good and absolutely bad. It's where and when and who is using it, how to use it. It's in the situation, always in the relationship between you and others, or what kind of a time space you are in, you, you, you use the thing. Could be good and could be bad. But the people go to extreme or a superficially, superficially superstitious. They go, oh, I guess C is no good. So we like a bar because bars always grow, separate, expand, extend. So then uh, people like bar. Number eight, or oh, jiao, jiao, there's another eternal, a permanent call the jiao, written like this. Pronunciation is the same as number nine, jiao. So that's how uh, you, they, they like number nine, number eight, number one, they don't know number four, because four go to especially for those small businessmen. They say, like, hey, I don't want to die. I want to grow, I want to expand, I want to eat. But as all the big businessmen, I think somebody like uh, Mr. Donald Trump, he doesn't, he doesn't care, right? Because he's, he's above it, like that, okay? Does that make sense? Thank you, yes. Sure, okay. I didn't get your assignment, Maria. Sorry. Yeah, I know you, you guys start to be busy because this, this year Europe is very busy, but uh, try, at the very first couple of months, you try, try to, Keep up with it, and then later on, I, I, I will let you go. I don't even check all this because you know how to write and how to pronounce it. And then, I've actually it. studied and did some work at this Christmas, so I wasn't able to actually. Oh yeah, yeah, it. Merry Christmas! Uh, yeah, that's your holiday. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still working on that. That's another problem. So don't worry. Uh, this time, I I let you go, and you work on your the first uh, previous si assignment. If you have a question. <laughs> Uh, you can you can you can write in the, the, the email or uh, signal to just individually. Don't need to send to the group, and we can discuss there. And I can send you the voice message to uh, to answer the question or those kind of things. Mr. He, are you saying there is no assignment this time? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I don't get to what I want to teach today. So. I think uh, just, just work on the number one to number 99, make it fluent. Any number you think about that, and, and you can speak and write correctly. That's a very good practice. That, that will take you quite some time. Uh, I know you, you do like, you're like 88, 88, you write and you still hesitate and you try to think and manage in your mind. You want to do, go to that stage and then, what is uh, 67? 67. What is 37, uh, 38? 38. What is 90, uh, 92? 92. You, you want to go right out of your mouth. That is a very good way to practice your pronunciation, correct your tone, production, and also you, when you think of the character, you, sh you, you better have that as a picture in your mind or in your heart, depends where your, your answer is located. Have that how, one. How you, Have the picture you, in your mind. Yeah. How do you say 20? 20. 20. 20. 20. It's written like this, right? Let me, let, me, let me go to the different page. It's written like this. How to pronounce? 20. Up to 40. 40. 60,六,十,70,七,十,72,七,十,R. You want to go fluently on this. It's a very good way to practice. Uh, uh, the, the, the hardest one is uh, differentiate uh, 10 to 13. Uh, uh, and, uh, 14 to 40. 十, 14 is 十, written like this, 
十四，六十是 forty and 四十，十四四十四。The the the flow, the air flow, just right, get out from between your teeth. Your teeth almost close to each other, almost close, but also also shut down. But it happens a little space. Si, but the shi, your tongue should roll up better, like R. Shi, second tone. Shi, shi, the shi here. Shi, shi, but the four. Si. 四十 ，fourteen， 十四，十四 ，forty， 四十，四十。Even those uh very good uh uh performers, language performers in China, in China, China and Chinese language performer, they want to use this to do a tongue twister to practice 四十，十十四。十四，四十 ，forty four， 还得说 forty four， 四十四，四十四，十四，四十，四十四。You want to practice that, okay? You want to, you want to practice the tongue. But、uh, when you work at it, even though、uh, I speak Chinese so many years, I need to think about when you、uh, speak、uh, speak very fast. No, 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 no. I messed up, and so you don't don't、uh, don't be uh, um, disappointed by yourself. Be patient, okay? Again, be patient, be compassionate to yourself. I said, I can do it. I can. I'm. You are really good. Believe me, I've seen a lot of、uh, this thing before. I know you are good because you're making an effort. Okay.、Um, have, do you have question, Jackson? No. You good? Okay. Good. Good boy. Okay. Any other questions? I got a quick. I got a quick one. Um, because you had given um a hundred and a thousand as a bonus last、yeah. time. So I'm just wondering. So if you want to say, I mean, I was just you know you read the book Sakamuni twenty five hundred years、uh -huh. ago. Is it twenty five hundred or two thousand five hundred? Okay. Or it doesn't make a difference. So, so two thousand five hundred. 年 means year. This is year. So it's twenty. So it's twenty five hundred. You put use the word hundred rather than two thousand. No, you don't need. Yeah, yeah. Two thousand. Two thousand five hundred. Like that. Two thousand five hundred. So it's very easy. When you want to use a hundred, you use a by here. You want a thousand or ten hundred here. Two. So, two thousand five hundred. So, five thousand years of five thousand years, five thousand years Chinese history、uh, or civilization or human human civilization. Five thousand years is five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. So, whenever you have by any、uh, how to say some three hundred fifty. Sun by, sun by, five. What about zero here? Sure. Three hundred fifty. Three hundred fifty. Yeah. So then you you expand to a thousand already. It's very easy. Then the next one would be one. It's ten thousand. And the next one is e. It's one hundred million. The next one would be I think zhao. It's It's um, it's a billion, I think. Then another one is J. That is from、uh, Sikamuni's teaching. That is a very, very, very long age. So every J, there's a big disaster, big catastrophe to re to re 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 renew everything.、Uh, we'll talk about later, later.、Mm -hmm. But as long you get into the thousands already, that's good. So this、G. is a hundred. This is ten. This is a zero. Then three hundred fifty fifty. That's all. So what's the what's the second character? So three. What's the second character? They have three hundred fifty, and then you get the sh sh at the end. Oh. What's the second one? I can't read. Can't read your writing. <laughs>、uh, let me do three fifty. 
Sanbai, because this is a oh, single, Sanbai. this is a team, okay. this is the hunter. Sanbai, you okay. want to read on the Sanbai, this one, 50. Okay. Yeah. So 350, got it. Yeah. As long as there's a 10 there, you want you add a 10 there. 50, 40, 30, 30. Got it. Then in, 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 you get to this way of thinking, you get a, yeah, up to 10, below, below 10,000 already. Thanks, yeah. Sure. Hello, happy holiday, everyone. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I did forget. Um, that's the holiday season, so thank you for a great work. So but this week, I think we basically did a review, add a little bit of content so we don't have too much work but you do need to really work on pronunciation writing on from number one to ten yi dao shi xie means writing number shu zi xie yi dao shi hai yu fa yin pronounce fa yin yin is sound or tone fa is produce and you just you don't need to remember all this when I, you just look at it oh, okay this is in the sound this is she this is zi character writing okay repeat many times you get familiar when we get to that character it's easier for you okay you still need to work on one to ten until maybe it takes another week or two when you think any number you can pronounce it three seven eight Ba ten shi and also tune wise. You still need to work on that. In your assignment, ninety percent or ninety-five percent are really good, but you make an effort. It's not net it's not net natural yet. You might make it a habit. Huh? The pattern is in your mind. One uh E R this ten number, including four tones already. E, R, fourth tone. San, first tone. Si, fourth tone. Wu, third tone. Liu, fourth tone. Qi, first tone. Ba, first tone. Jiao, third tone. Shi, second tone. Okay, you want to uh, have the tone, four tones pattern in your mind. When you forget, gonna, hmm, yeah, really? Oh, go back to this pattern. To define it, okay, and to write it correctly. So far, writing is the best part. Except, except a couple of things. For writing part, uh, there is a common little thing need to improve. This is number four, si. So the bottom part should stay between these two vertical. You don't want to go like that. I'm sorry, this is not good. You don't want to go this. Yeah, you want to, this, the bottom part, stay between these two vertical one. Uh, and number nine. And the hook go up, like fishing hook, right? This is too short, like this. No, this is not a good example. This is too short. You need to really go up. Otherwise, the other thing should be good. Other writing is good. Okay, uh, besides practicing yi dao shi, Dao means two. It's right here. It's the same pronunciation as Dao, the way, the great way, that Dao. The same pronunciation. We're going to explain that later on, okay? Same pronunciation, different character could, in many cases, could have related or even similar or closely related to meaning. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that later on. Okay, just heads up. But now the third thing you need to, uh, last time I uh, show you the by hundred, 
as a bonus. For those you are working on, you can you can practice writing and pronouncing this. Uh, review it for those that you, you didn't do in your time. If you have time in this week, even though it's still holiday season, you want to do some practice. You can work on this. Okay, bye and chat. So you you can expand from one to nine hundred and ninety nine. But if 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 you if it's too much work for you, forget about this. And to get a little, get to know these two characters, have an impression or of the pronunciation and the meaning. You you don't need to work on it. You work on this from one to ninety nine. Think about any number in English. Say it in Chinese, or you don't even try to forget English. You just write a number like this. Shi you want to add a bash because it's ba shi plus e in Chinese you write in ba shi e. Get it? Twenty nine is ar shi plus nine. Ar shi jiao xie chen. When you write in, is you write you write in ar shi jiao. Right? You you want to practice number like uh like uh, Jamie and Jackson, um, the famous doing. Say it, pronounce it correctly. Then when you have a couple of minutes, you, you try to write it. It's a very good uh, exercise to within this ten number, yi dao shi, you practice four tones, you practice the number from one to ninety-nine, saying it, writing it. Practice your writing. Get familiar with the basic strokes and also get familiar with these four tones. When it's become a habit, part of your brain, part of your a body when you say it or think it or write it, it's going to lay out a very good foundation for later stages. Okay, it's it's critical, just like twenty six letters in English. Okay, thank you. Have a good holiday again, and see you next week.